today at our tech setting table in Makers Festival, we have around two projects, three projects, and one of them is the crystal ball over here. Basically, it's using an Arduino, and you get to push the button after you ask any yes or no question. So, let's say, will you win the lottery? What? It says most likely. <laughs> it's wrong. And then, hmm? it probably messed up oh, oh. red and orange. You probably thought red was orange, right? right. You could just, uh... It's so cool, it's all of it. And so, on the other side, we have a Rubik's Cube solving robot. And basically, after you put in the Rubik's Cube, it will solve it. Yep. And over on here, we have a bunch of remote controlled robots that we can use. So we have a bulldozer, we have a walking robot, we have a tank, and we have a uh, speed tank or a race, oh, race truck. Did you use Adrena for all of the. Uh, so projects? these are running on EV3. And uh, same goes for over here. And it's basically made out of Lego. Mm. Um, so right over here, it's going to start scanning it using the color sensor on the top. Oh, it's and not a camera, it's just a color sensor. Yeah. And so it scans all the colors and it stores uh, every single color it, right in the bricks over here. And so by doing so, this sensor here, which is an ultrasonic sensor, it's yeah, it's making sure that the Rubik's Cube is there. And then it uses two robot, uh, two motors. So we have one motor here, which helps turn and push it around. And then we have another motor, motor on the bottom here, which basically turns the table. Mm. Yeah. And how long does it take for it to solve the Rubik's Cube? So it usually takes around a minute or less than a minute. To build it. Does it break down often? No. Unless somebody like touches or fiddles with it, it won't break. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's almost done. No, the... It'll say how many steps it takes and the time it uh, took. It comes with its own software. Okay, there's a different kind of software that's better. Yeah, it's basically, it's based on... They have to use. Please show me that. They use like a kind of... For a free presentation. Uh, so it's like, like most like a dragon ball, but it's just a ball. They don't write the library themselves. Today's presentation will feature articles the oh, it's almost done. The there we go. Oh, it is done. It could also solve the Rubik's Cube in different patterns as well, such as like snake, checkerboard, cube and cube, and all are welcome. So that concludes that. And can I try this? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.